So, I have respect Nell again because I had a larval tear and um, I like to layer up, uh, level up different weapons and come up with different concepts. So this time I've gone with the Ancestral Spirit look. Now the Ancestral Spirits are like beast men almost that seem to worship the earth tree and nature and um, you can find them around the earth tree always worshipping it. Where is there an earth tree around here? I can show you. Earth tree, earth tree. Up here. How do you get to that earth tree up here? So yeah, um, I quite like them because they're like shaman, I think. Yeah, I get that. That's done. So they're like shaman, and they seem to be naturistic, and they like to summon. They seem to worship nature. These massive walking mausoleums, of which you one see one there, you have to find a way to bring them down, um, so they stop walking, so you can go in there and then do something, which I won't go into right now. Um, it's kind of fun. You got to get them to kneel down, and they're massive. It's quite hard. Um, so here they are. There worshipping worshipping the Erd tree you can sit the Erd tree up behind there so they worship this Erd tree now one of the things about this build is I can use two hand axes and that way I can use two different special abilities one of them will do a war cry which increases my attack power and the other one We'll do a massive holy attack like that, which will actually heal me, which is a wonderful thing. And they also can attack with both weapons at the same time. Now, since I like them, now let's do another one to heal myself. Bam! That's what this is kind of built around. And so I'm cosplaying, and I've got a in those shaman furs. Confessor gloves, shaman fur leggings, and the great horned head headpiece, headband. Um, I've got the claw mark seal, which is claw, which is strength and faith, which boosts bestial incantations. I've got the two higher hand axes. I haven't maxed them out yet, um, and that one's been that one has had prayerful strike put on it, which has turned it into a holy weapon. And prayerful strike does that big attack, which massive attack actually, which heals you at the same time. Now, by default, that one has war cry on it, but you can see the little empty square box here. I can put whatever I want on this one. That's just a normal weapon, which is cool, man. And the other thing about this wonderful weapon, whoops, if you don't get rid of it, is skill, prayerful strike, grace, yeah, uh, brave and pats begin battle by crying out their name, roars are enhanced by this weapon. So just by having that weapon in your hand, when I do this, that is enhanced. So it's going to let me do more damage because it's been enhanced just because I have the, four, the that in my hand. Kneel down, roll over that. Now, I've also, uh, there's your incantation. There's your, um, what the hell is that thing called again? It's a seal, which lets you cast faith-based spells. I can hear a ringy dingy thing here somewhere, a little ball that I can go and kill and get something out of. Anyway, I've been through here before. Now they're all bloody worshipping. Normally there'd be a, a big monster at the base of that tree which you have to kill, but I've already done it. Bestial skills are ones that, based on the skill, the sort of things that beasts do, like claws. Now they scale off, they scale off, um, faith and I, I think possibly strength I'm not sure I'm gonna get hit here now the next one's even better if I can get it off before they beat the snot out of me now 
Now I've also given a Radan's bow, <laughs> which is pretty good. So you can see she's pretty OP. She's fun. This is a, and I've got, as for the talismans, I've got one that just boosts de physical damage negation, makes my bows fire further, greatly enhances the power of incantations, or all those spe special incantations, and also raises attack power when lower equipment, which I'm not. I'm um, medium load, so that's not even working. Oh my god. <laughs> Broken bill. You're forever, ever, ever, ever perfecting, changing, um, coming up with concepts with how you're going to play. Um, and I like this one, but it's quite broken. <laughs> I'll have to change these talismans around. I've just noticed that. It's working quite well anyway, but it's only going to get better. She can, if she wants to, blend into the scenery. Although that's not really blending here, but anyway, I mean, if, if you knew what you were looking for, you'd be able to see her with that. But the thing is, she can actually sneak around <laughs> disguised as crystal, which is <laughs> wonderful. Um, and she's got, she can throw, she can throw uh, these things. Let's attack, get out of there. Now, Radan's bow is also got a special ability we sort of range down arrows but anyway that's the building in short I've got to get rid of that and replace it with something else greatly boosts attack power of skills 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 just straight out have that one the holy spell just do even more damage holy shit it has charged Ones you have to hold down to attack with spells and skills. Yeah. I mean, that's the obvious one, isn't it? The spells consume less, but hit points, short spell casting time. I think that one might be a better one. So shall we do even more damage now with that massive healing holy attack on that first weapon? So that's it. That's Nell as she is now and as I get more larval tears I'll probably respec again but I'm really liking this build um, I'll show you one more underground where there's some of these guys there's quite a lot of them in the Sophia River and they um it's interesting because above the ground they're solid but underneath underground everything around here has been this is a massive cavern and the people under here have um Someone's just appraised one of my messages. They're trying to recreate what's going on above the ground. So all those stars are fake stars and it's actually an enormous ca cavern. And everything about what's going on here is basically an attempt to um, recreate life underground. Now let's see if I can show you these guys underneath here. See now they're under here, they're kind of like incorporeal and green which is interesting and they also seem to this so there must be spirits and um, they also really seem to attract wildlife if you see here there's a whole bunch of them walking along here somewhere and around them there's just a whole group of bloody wildlife there's Deer and there's these little possum things and there's wolves and they're, so they're, they're, they're very these are like they're not real I don't know if that's real or not but they're certainly glow green which is an interesting you have to look into the lore of them a little bit no they're real they just glow you're gonna kill me dude ah. Are they, are they see-through or not? I think they're... 
can't tell if they're see-through or not. Let's do this. We'll see if they notice me. And they, under here, they, they worship... They worship this sort of dead elk thing. Which, um... Let's do this. Let's see if they fool him. I'm a tree, I'm a tree, I'm a tree! Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die, dude. Roll, roll, roll. This is what happens when you come in and aggro everything in the entire fucking zone. I haven't really had a chance to put my special thing on. Let's do this. I need to heal, so let's... Sixteen hundred damage. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, man! <laughs> and it heals you. Like, uh, that kind of makes a really tanky. She can heal herself. It's like it's so ROP. So my stats for that, for this are. Uh, um, I haven't gone 80 in anything. I've got 60 vigor, that's your heal health point. Endurance is 60 for my equipment. Strength of 60 and faith is coming up to 60. So for these spells. Now all these others, that's a heal slowly over time. They're all to remove things. They're all to buff me. That's to remove death and that's to... I think that's a big heal. They're all buffs. I hardly ever use them, but I do use these sometimes. Um, so that's the, d the build. Um, and as you can see, I mean, the, de the Madness build was fun too, in a completely different way. Um, and I think I'm still specced, really, to be able to use that, that build if I wanted to. I can come back and still use Bikes or Spear with this builder. Um, so I could go back to using the, the, the um, Madness build if I want to. And at some point when I get enough, the right items, I can max out those weapons. I'm still working on maxing out these ones. They're getting close, but that I have, I've got to get I've got to get to later game to be able to get that to plus 10 and max it out. I've got to get to later game to get the plus 25 thing to max them out. You get it. You get them from they're called dragon things, basically dragon this, dragon that. Um, that's maxed out. It's a fun build. This one, loads of fun. Um, but anyway, I'll end there.